I'm 19 now. I'm a volunteer in Lithuania already 10 months. I will leave in one week. At, I'm, I'm working at Lithuania in Caritas, Lietuvos Caritas, as a volunteer of social work in a project which is called the Aid to the Victims of Human Trafficking and Prostitution. We have, we have different cases. We have um, like those clients which we know for a long time already and um, like we are, we are just meeting them sometimes, trying to keep in contact with them within like two weeks, for example, that are more or less a use. And then um, you, I, I'm supposed to be a friend for them. Not really a friend, but somebody who's there, somebody who helps them when they have problems, like with, with their partnerships or with other friends as they feel betrayed. It's more like this psycho psychological like support that they know there's somebody in their age who might understand them. Then we have those cases of like old volunteers which are in more extreme situations and I'm not, I just provide them with food for example, I take care of their children because I haven't studied yet and it's not like, I don't have the knowledge how to treat those. And then we have those like emergency cases, some girls who have to be kept in a monastery for, for safety reasons for example. And those, those girls shouldn't, shouldn't be alone all the time, so sometimes there was also weekends taking care of them, being with them, talking with them, showing them corners, for example. Um, so it really depends on, on, on the clients, what they need. And yeah, some, some days I'm only like carrying food around to bring them, because most of them are not the richest ones. And other, other days I'm whole day only with one person trying to talk about her, her problem, problems or trying to get beneath her why she's not calling Caritas anymore. So it's, uh, it's really different from day to day because I meet a lot of, a lot of girls. Not, I, it's not like I have three clients, they are only mine. No, I have quite a branch of whom I'm visiting. And, and we try to like, keep in touch with them. Our main role is to to show them that there is somebody, somebody uh, to help and that if they want help, they can always come. After work, of course, I, I usually feel good what, about what I've done. But while, while you're trying to, for example, reach them, because a lot of times they don't want to open the doors, they, they don't want to let you in, they don't want to pick up the phone because it's, I don't know, they feel ashamed, they feel they don't want help, they don't need help, they're scared of what we will do, I'm not sure. But yeah, in that, in that situations, you don't always feel good. You think, what am I doing here? Do I actually help them somehow? Or am I just bothering them or annoying them or whatever? But if I, for example, get deeper in the topic, watch documentaries or read articles, then I realize they do need help and they are only not answering out of some, some reasons, like, for example, shame. And uh, then, I, then I have to t t tell myself that it's good what I'm doing, or that I'm at least trying to do good stuff. But yeah, it's not always so thankful, for sure.